This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed author, Aaron Scott Wickle. Hello there, Aaron. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking, Will. How are you today? Aaron, doing so much better now that we are finally meeting after months on the books. And Aaron, I just love the fact that you are joining this incredible app because I've already gotten to speak with over 150 authors from all over the world who are part of this app. And just the idea of you know, you all getting together and just being able to maybe share ideas, tips, inspirations, but also just to get your, the, your artistry out there beyond the United States. I want to know first and foremost, Aaron, you obviously have such a beautiful sense of fantasy. I know your love of Disney and Lucas films. You are speaking to someone as well that is often inspired by them with my own art, but I want to know for you, your early inspirations, but also when you decided to go for it as a professional writer. Okay, yeah. So when I was about 17, I started writing and I was just writing for myself, not really planning on doing anything with the work and just just giving it a try. I had a story that I wanted to put on paper and it was what it was. <laughs> Um, and then about 2015, I picked that back up um, a little bit more seriously and started rewriting it. And then about 2017, I decided that I wanted to try publishing it. And then uh, four years later, I ended up publishing it. <laughs> and not only that, my friend, you are already working on the second edition, correct? That is correct. Yep. Talk to the audience a little bit about the second edition of your book, and can the audience also expect more within the series? Yeah, so um, as it being the uh, second book in the series, the first one had quite a lot of work to do, so it took me a bit longer to get that finished. Um, but the second one, now that I've kind of gotten all the feedback from a different authors and other writers and everything like that. Um, the second book seems to be sailing along quite smoothly. And I do expect at least two more in the series after the second book. So um, it could, depending on where it needs to go, be a little longer. Talk to the audience and me a little bit about your inspiration and why you decided to write in what you wrote about for your first book. And then also, I mean, because it's, it's well, yes, I'll let you describe. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess one of my inspirations for it has always been, so I have been connected to nature since a young age. Um, when uh, being out here in Utah, I live in a more rural community where there isn't a lot of people. And so nature is within 15 minutes drive and you can just hike up to the mountains and just kind of um, explore how you want. And so one of the things that I used to do is when my dad and I, we used to go on horseback rides up into the mountains for miles and miles and we'd camp overnight. and so as we were just kind of sitting there in the saddle, um, I'd always look around at nature and just see how beautiful everything was. And I thought, I would always think to myself, man, how would it be to be able to manipulate something like that, to be able to just raise my hand and have a root come out of the ground or sprout a tree or something? Or when I was out in the lakes, um, how would it be to be able to just conjure up this little ball of water and I don't know, throw it at someone or something, <laughs> you know, being a teenage boy, that's probably what I was thinking, but, um, or when the campfire was going, how would it be to make this campfire swirl into a little tornado? Well, maybe what put I on a little so much show. about your sense of imagination, Aaron, is something that both George Lucas and Walt Disney would often say when creating something that has never been created, asking the question, what if? And you obviously have that sense of imagination in creating a world of your own. And I'm just so, again, excited. You're coming on board this amazing new app, but also 
I am so excited to be connected with you now. And I'm just so looking forward to the release of not only just the second part of your series, but just for the many books that I know are within that genius mind of yours. <laughs> I thank you so much.